today I'm going to share with you some of the most beautiful Chinese ceramics ever made. They are from Sir Percy David Foundation of Chinese Art. Sir Percy David was part of Sir Sun Bank in Dynasty and he started to collect Chinese art in the early 20th century. His collection it is an extraordinary collection of almost 1700 Chinese ceramics including the finest examples dating from the 3rd century AD to the 20th century. And he mostly collected items of traditional Chinese taste. And if there is a aesthetic icon in Chinese ceramics that can best represent Chinese taste or Chinese art and culture, it must be Ru Ware. Ru Wares are the rarest group of Chinese ceramics. In total, there are less than 100 in the entire world, and Sir Percy David uh, holds 12 pieces. They are so rare because they were only made for extremely short period of time, uh, only 20 years between 1086 and 1106 AD during the Northern Song Dynasty. The aesthetic uh, appeal of rulewares are the perfect, excellently proportioned shapes and the unique color of the glaze, which can range from the pale bluish green to the intense glassy green. And it's so subtle, which require you to look closely and then you are be able to see the rich, luminous, uh, luxurious um, texture in the glaze and many rulers bear fine delicate crackles and they are interlaced each other horizontally vertically and all ed elegantly uh, displayed all over in the glaze and the fine delicate crackle was a matter of fact a defect uh, caused by the shrinking rates of the glaze and the body because during the cooling process, the thick glaze cooling faster than the body, so contracting to the surface and it's happened naturally and accidentally. And so you cannot reproduce the crackles um, at will. So rulers, uh, each ruler who ha with, with patterns uh, it has its own crackle pattern. And there are so many names given by, or terms given by Chinese connoisseurs to describe these patterns, such as um, broken eyes or ice crackle or um, crab's claw. Um, and rulers, they are fully glazed, including the base. And the porters try to avoid damaging the, the smooth uh, glaze. So, the, the bodies were fired on the spurred setters. Once they finish firing, and they removed with, they were removed with, with care, and the bottom were left with tiny elliptical sesame seed look, shape look uh, marks, which of course there is a term to call them uh, sesame seed marks. And because of its great variety and uh, there are uh, less than 100 in the entire world and it's remarkable beauty and um, the complex techniques uh, made rulers simply the most desirable items among Chinese ceramics. And among the 12 pieces that Sir Percy David Foundation holds, there's one particularly interesting and uh, outstanding and in a way unique because it is associated with two emperors. It is a rulewear ball with copper rim and it has opaque lavender bluish glaze. Uh, and uh, on the bottom, of course, it has sesame seeds marks. Um, and in the center, what's it makes special is in the center, it has an inscription which from Qianlong Emperor. It is an imperial inscription from one of his poem. And he wrote this poem for this ball to appreciate its beauty, to appreciate its variety, because a couple of his lines read, um, there are many dishes are survived um, and balls are quite rare, quite difficult to find. There are over a hundred dishes survived in a palace, stored in a palace, but the balls are as rare as stars in the morning. So it is proof that this ball once collected by the Tianlong Emperor himself, and he might even have handled it, appreciated it. And um, 
what is more interesting and um, to notice and to to mention is that this ball perhaps has entered the imperial collection in the Forbidden City before his reign and it, perhaps in, during his father's reign in Yongzheng period because we have evidence in the same collection in the room 95 uh, there is a large uh, painting, hand scroll painting entitled Gu Wan Tu, uh, scroll of antiquities or scroll of treasures, which the painting was commissioned by Yongzheng Emperor. Yongzheng Emperor was the father of Tianlong Emperor, and it was commissioned by Yongzheng Emperor uh, that to paint or to illustrate, uh, to demonstrate, to show his treasures. And among many of other treasures, there's one ball in the painting it has almost identical fine crackle same pattern and almost uh, the same color and uh, it has exactly the same copper mouth rim uh, uh, on the on the ball so it is pretty reasonable to assume this ball must have been the ball that Qianlong Emperor has put an inscription on and now today this ball sits in its own case in room 95 um, every time I see it, I'm so overwhelmed. Not only because its um, ultimate beauty is perfect shape and its rich um, various tonage uh, color, but also because its um, 900 year history, over the 900 years, there must have been uh, thousands of generations who have been privileged and who have been fortunate to view, to see, to handle this object just like Emperor Yongzheng Qianlong or like me in the modern day and maybe for many museum visitors at the first glance you wouldn't find it spectacular because it doesn't have as much decoration as other uh, more decorative uh, items in the collection but once you look into it once you find this fine elegant crackle interlace each other once you find the rich texture the layers of glaze in on the ball the smooth uh, the ultimate simplicity simplicity of everything then you will find yourself immediately understand why this ball was so treasured and this ball was uh, so pressured from the day it's made till present day